Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Dating while married is extremely tough, and it might not be obvious as to why. It's the darn math of the whole thing. My wife and I enjoy dating and meeting new people. The problem is, is that we need to meet a couple of people each time, and this is where it gets sticky. How many of you couples out there like someone, but neither of you can stand the person they're with? Yeah, we've all been there. It's simply that the math of it doesn't work out and it gets complex very quickly. Let me explain. When you're first dating, you're traditionally only looking to meet one person, right? So only one relationship has to work properly. Okay, so now you've discovered that you love hanging out with each other and your relationship is going great. And it's time to introduce your mate to your friend. Now we have three people in the group. Now three relationships must function properly. How many of you have terminated one of these relationships because of what the other person thought? When you must choose between your bro and a lady who may offer professional services for an hourly fee, one relationship is bound to crumble. And we guys don't really follow that rule anyway. We always pick the female. But let's say we get past that stage and it's all going well. The friend finds someone and now we have two pair. So guess what? It just got more complicated. And this is why dating while you're married is so darn hard. Six relationships have to function at this point, not just four. And you can see that it's automatically much harder to find couples friends. And as you add more people to your group, it just gets harder. But how much harder? Well, this is what I wanted to find out. My wife, my wife and I are lucky enough to have a close group of three other couples. That's four pair for you poker people. Just how unlikely is it that this works? And what is all required for the group to function as well as we do? From my perspective, everyone gets along great. So, I started with this diagram. I figured that there had to be a formula or something that would make this easier, because you can see that for our group of people, it's very hard to count the connections. I tried slicing the diagram and analyzing as if it were a truss, and that was still fairly difficult. And after several uh, intense minutes of studying the diagram, the formula jumped out at me, and here it is. It's the sum of zero to n minus one. That's it and you can quickly see that it works. With only two people, n equals two, and n minus one is one, and the sum from zero to one is one. So, with four people, n equals four, n minus one is three, and one plus two plus three is six. When you get to eight, it's hard to count. So here's how I figured out the formula. I started at this point and counted all his relationships, which was seven. The second person also has seven relationships, but the one with the first person can't be double counted, and so there's only six new relationships, and so on. We go all the way around the circle until we get to the last guy who has no new relationships that haven't already been counted. So the formula is the sum of the numbers from zero to n minus one, because we don't count the relationships with ourselves. If you hate yourself, well, then you can't possibly have a good relationship with this many people at once, so you better go work on that first. I'm curious about all sorts of things, and I bet that some of you are too. We're very lucky to have such a great group of friends, and now I know just how unlikely that is. So I really appreciate the heck out of them. 28 relationships. Wow. I didn't even count all the kids, but I like them. This would also be useful in counting the number of games for a round robin tournament. Hopefully you can adapt this concept to something that's important to you, and at the very least, you know why your group of friends is so small. One of you is the problem. Dating while married is mathematically very tough, but I'd suggest you start dating your kids' friends' parents. It worked for us 28 ways. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.